And this is a weird kind of subject for me because, ladies and gentlemen, you will find, you will be hard-pressed to find anyone on the planet Earth that cares less about the royal family than me. I don't give a damn about the royal family. I don't mean anything like negative, like, oh, my goodness, I want something to happen to them or nothing like that. I just don't care. Princess Diana seemed like a very, very nice lady. Very, very sorry that she passed away in a car accident years ago when the paparazzis were chasing her. I mean, we can't miss that story. You couldn't watch anything else on television. It took up all the airwaves. But God bless and rest her soul. Queen Elizabeth, you know, y'all go ahead and celebrate her, but, you know. You're a black person, particularly with immigrant parents like myself. You've got a different history, a different lens, rather, that you view history when it comes to the royal family than, say, some of these folks fawning over them in the United States of America. But that's neither here nor there. I'll let Piers Morgan tell you all about that stuff. I like him, by the way. Um, but Meghan Markle, can I tell y'all why, I was in, why, I'm, why I'm interested in her? Because I used to love Suits. Remember that show? Suits. I loved Suits. Oh, that was a great show. I mean, Harvey, the the star of the show, big time lawyer. I mean, this brother was something special. I loved Harv, okay? And I loved his relationship with Donna, secretary. I mean, I loved all of that. I loved Suits, okay? I did. And obviously Meghan Markle departed from that because she connected with Prince Harry and she became royalty. And as a result, you know, she, you know, she, she, she's, uh, what is it? I don't even know what that, see, I don't even know y'all. Is it the the princess of Sussex or what? I don't know. I don't know. They're Prince Harry, Uh, Duchess, the Duchess of Sussex. Okay. Whatever. My my sister Samantha just told me. I didn't know. I don't know this stuff. Okay. Okay, beautiful kids there. Okay, very nice. No, 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 no aspersions. But, uh, uh, you know, they're making news because they got dropped by Spotify. Had a $20 million deal. Left their podcast after only 12 episodes. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I do 12 episodes in my sleep. 12 episodes, $20 million. $20 million. $20 million. Megan Markle, obviously, I'm, a, I, I, I'm looking at that figure staggeringly, but then, hell, you thought I was bad. Bill Simmons went off. Now, Bill Simmons is my contemporary former colleague with me at ESPN, has his own stuff, The Ringer, you know, podcast network, runs, is it moved up the ranks to an executive at Spotify. I like Bill. I respect the hell out of Bill. By the way, he was a best-selling author. You know, book on basketball. I mean, huge Boston Celtics fan, the whole bit. I respect the hell out of Bill Simmons. Ain't no, ain't no shade here. But Bill Simmons was going off. I mean, nobody seemed happier that, is it the Duchess of Sussex? The Duchess of Sussex, is that accurate? The Duchess of Sussex? Let me make sure I got that right. I don't know. The Duchess of Sussex, along with Prince Harry, Bill Simmons seemed very happy they were gone. Listen to what he had to say here. Listen to this. I, I have, I'm going to pose this question to you. You, you do a lot of business deals, a lot of negotiations. I do. Well, let, let's just. I pretend. wish I'd been involved in the Megan and Harry leave Spotify negotiation. <laughs> the fucking grifters. That's the podcast we should have launched with them. We, um, I got to get drunk one night and tell the story of the Zoom I had with Harry to try to help him with the podcast idea. Do it. It's one of my best stories. Dude, we, we, there hasn't been a Drunk let's Simmons just, podcast. Let's both get drunk, drunk and then it'll just be drunk. Save that idea. It'll be really the easy. Fucking, the grifters. Here's my. Ladies and gentlemen, I pride myself on having a relatively extensive vocabulary. I never knew what the hell grifters meant. So I had to look it up. And there it is. A grifter is a con artist. Someone who swindles people out of their money through fraud. That is what Bill Simmons called. 
Prince Harry and the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle. In all seriousness, he's qualified to say that. I am not, because I know nothing of them. I know nothing about their deal. I'm appalled that my daughter can tell me more about it, because I'm like, why are you watching that? For what? What purpose does that serve? And then I realized that although I wouldn't call them any names and I certainly wouldn't be derogatory or incendiary towards them on a, on a personal level, I thought Bill Simmons was a bit excessive with that. I didn't think that was necessary. But then again, he works at Spotify, not me. So he knows more than I would ever know about that particular situation, which means it came from a personal place. Having said all of that, I will acknowledge that he did crystallize what he meant when he said what he said. Listen to this quote. Talking about Prince Harry, what does he do? It's one of those things where it's like, what's your talent? Why are we listening to you? So you were born in a royal family and then you left. You live in fucking Montecito. And you're just like, you sell documentaries and podcasts. And nobody cares what you have to say about anything unless you're talking about the royal family. And you just complain about them. Ladies and gentlemen... That part is true. It's got to a point where if Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, I'm sorry, the Duchess of Sussex. If Prince Harry and the Duchess of Sussex ain't complaining about the royal family. I don't know if anybody cares what they have to say. I'm quite sure. You know, she got friends like Gwyneth Paltrow and others. And I love me some Gwyneth Paltrow. Great. I love seeing her with Iron Man. I love seeing her in Avengers and stuff like that. Love Gwyneth Paltrow. Okay. And your friendships are your business. And I'm not here to cast any aspersions. I'm simply making the point. I'm not trying to dog Meghan Markle like uh, the Duchess of Sussex. I'm not trying to dog her like she doesn't have any talent or anything like that. She did damn good on us. I love Suits. Matter of fact, I'm going to go watch it again. I'm going to watch it again. I love that show, okay? But what I'm saying is you don't really care about what they have to say unless they're insulting their family. And then you got half the people in Great Britain that can't stand them because they insult their own family. And then you have some people who kind of feel empathetic towards them and stuff like that. Again, check out Piers Morgan. Go talk to him. He knows all about that stuff. I don't. I never cared. But when Bill Simmons said that, I was like, damn, he does have a point. And then if you're an executive for Spotify and you doled out or you committed to doling out 20 million because we don't know if they got the whole 20 million and they only do 12 episodes. Oh, that's a reason to be pissed. Take it one step further. If during the 12 episodes, Meghan Markle, I mean, the Duchess of Sussex. If during the 12 episodes. Where it's talking about how, you know, you, you, you got in this, the series dug into the labels that try to hold women back. According to its description on the platform, had guests like Serena Williams, Mariah Carey, Mindy Kaling, Spotify, and Archerwell, the podcast company owned by Markle and Prince Harry. You parted ways after one season. You only gave 12 episodes. And oh, by the way, according to the reports... Some are saying Meghan Markle, I mean the Duchess of Sussex, did not conduct the interviews herself. Pod News has reported that they have multiple sources who say some interviews on the show were done by other staffers. With Meghan's questions edited in afterwards. Oh, that's a reason to be pissed if you Bill Simmons and Spotify. Again, I know nothing. You can't find a human being on this, pan on this planet less interested in the royal family than me. There's a figurehead position. They don't run anything. They don't run the government. It's just history there. Only time I was interested in the royal family was when there was some clause involving the royal family 
that Disney used against DeSantis months ago that a rule that dated back centuries. If not, if not damn near, yeah, the centuries. I don't care anything. I mean, as human beings, I care. I don't want anything to happen to them, but I don't care anything in terms of interest. There is nothing that is remotely appealing to me about the royal family. Zero. This, however, by Bill Simmons. Ladies and gentlemen, I would have, I might have kept out the cuss words. I might not have called them grifters, which means con artist. But if that happened, and that's accurate, Bill Simmons is justified in saying what he said. I can't deny that. 